Swiss inventor Yves Rossi flew his Jetman jetpack in the same formation with several Alpha jet fighters. Earlier, the engineer flew around Dubai's tallest skyscraper, the Burj Khalifa, as well as next to a huge Airbus A320 plane. All his stunts, Rossi filmed on video. The inventor began developing the Jetman rocket pack in 2004. The design feature of the apparatus is the absence of a mechanical wing. To control the jetpack, the pilot uses only the movements of the arms, legs and head. The rocket pack reaches speeds of up to 300 km per hour. The maximum flight time with a full tank of fuel is 10 minutes. To start, the Jetman pilot must take off in an airplane or helicopter. A parachute is used for landing. At a military parade in France, which was held on July 14, 2019, a flying platform called Flyboard Air was presented. The device is capable of speeds up to 200 km per hour, climb to a height of up to 3 km, fly non-stop for 30 minutes, as well as transport a person along with cargo with a total weight of up to 200 kg. However, at the time of the public demonstration, the maximum speed of the Flyboard Air was limited to 140 km per hour. The lift height was 150 meters, the flight time was 6 minutes, and the payload was 100 kilograms. Frankie Zapata himself demonstrated the flying machine in action in Paris. He flew on the Chones Elysee on a turbine-powered flatboard in front of President Emmanuel Macron and other leaders of the European Union. The pilot held a rifle in his hand, indicating the possibility of using the technology for military purposes. The presented version of the flying platform still needs to be improved particularly in terms of improved stability and mobility. The Russian startup Hoversurf introduced an electric hoverbike. The device is classified as an ultralight vehicle, allowing it to be flown without a pilot's license. Scorpion 3 flying motorcycle with a carbon fiber frame that lightens up to 114 kilograms, a new 12 kilowatt hour hybrid battery capable of providing 10 to 25 minutes of flight, depending on the weather and the weight of the pilot and also remote control with already 40 minutes of flight in unmanned mode. The dimensions of the Scorpion 3 will allow it to fit in a standard doorway, as well as being able to take off and land from a regular parking space. The overbike can fly 16 meters above the ground, reaching a top speed of 96 km per hour, although this will be limited by the legal speed in each country. Buyers can pre-order the Scorpion 3 with a $10,000 deposit, and the full price is set at $150,000. Omni Hoverboard In 2015, Alexandru Duru introduced his Omni Hoverboard to the world and even made it into the media spotlight by earning an entry in the Guinness Book of World Records by flying 276 meters over a lake at a height of 5 meters. Since then, the Canadian inventor with Romanian roots has been working on a commercial version of his flying machine and has already received patents for it. The Omni Hoverboard is powered by eight propellers. The battery charge lasts for a modest one and a half minutes of flight, but Duru is working on improvements to increase the flight time. The American company Jetpack Aviation introduced a new model of jetpack called JB-11. Unlike the previous version, the new jetpack can accelerate up to 320 km per hour. The company demonstrated the prototype of the jetpack at CES 2018. Usually, jetpacks are developed by enthusiasts and created in single copies. But in recent years, their serial production was announced by several companies, in particular Jetpack Aviation, which has already created several models. The new version has not two, but six turbojet engines. Due to this, the maximum speed of the jetpack has increased significantly. The maximum flight height is about 4.5 km, and the duration of the flight on one refueling is 12 minutes during which the pilot can fly more than 30 kilometers. The purchase of such vehicles has already been announced by Dubai Civil Defense, which will use them in case of fires in high-rise buildings, access to which can be difficult. Martin Jetpack A few years ago, this idea looked fantastic and silly, but already this year, the jetpack may appear on the market. At the air show held in Dubai a few years ago, developers were presented the first copy of this flying miracle. The jetpack is capable of reaching speeds of up to 75 km per hour and lift a person into the air for almost a kilometer. The manufacturer claims that the Martin jetpack can acquire the status of the safest aircraft in the world. It should be noted that the device runs on conventional fuel. 
The maximum distance the jetpack can cover on one refueling is 50 kilometers. If the pilot runs out of gasoline in the air, then returning to the ground will be the safest for the pilot. This is accomplished by means of an automatically triggered ballast balloon. Approximate cost of Martin Jetpack reaches $250,000. According to company representatives, emergency services will be the first to buy it, then agricultural workers, then representatives of the oil and gas industry, and only after that jetpacks will enter the mass market and be available to ordinary users. In July 2018, Gravity Industries began selling a flying suit, similar to the one Iron Man had. The flying suit is printed on a 3D printer and is equipped with five engines that run on both jet fuel and diesel. The device allows speeds of up to 90 km per hour, although the manufacturer recommends accelerating to a maximum of 50 km per hour for safety reasons. According to the developers, the suit allows you to climb to a height of 3,650 meters, but you need to be careful when moving so far from the ground, since the fuel supply is only enough for 4 to 5 minutes of flight. The capacity of the fuel tank is 15 liters. It is claimed that in cold weather it is possible to squeeze out more thrust and fly for about 9 minutes. The product weighs about 27 kilograms. It was possible to achieve such an indicator due to the use of special block components assembled from parts that were printed by a 3D printer. Not only Gravity Industries is engaged in the creation of personal flying machines, but this company was one of the first to start mass production of such suits. California-based startup Kitty Hawk, backed by co-founder Larry Page, has unveiled the first prototype of a personal electric flyer, the Kitty Hawk Flyer. An ultralight aircraft can lift one person into the air and move at speeds up to 32 km per hour for 20 minutes at a height of 1 to 3 meters. The flight of the Kitty Hawk Flyer will be supported by 10 separate engines independent of each other. Many people associate this flying machine with an enlarged version of the multicopter, which is designed to fly above the water surface to a height of up to 10 meters. If we are talking about the series, it is more likely that the production model will be more flexible and will be able to fly over all surfaces and to a much greater height. At the same time, the Kitty Hawk Flyer will not be sold to individuals, but only to large transportation companies to systematically solve the problems of traffic congestion. At the beginning of June 2021, a demonstration of the world's first backpack helicopter took place. The man drone uses two propellers, which are about 90 centimeters in diameter. They are on a rigid frame together with batteries and two armrests with controls. The device runs on electric traction, and the body is made of durable and lightweight carbon fiber. After vertical takeoff, the pilot moves the rotors into position to move forward or make turns to the right and left. According to the developers, large propellers help to use less energy for takeoff and maneuvering. At the same time, the large diameter of the propellers increases the likelihood of birds getting in. Due to its small size and power unit, the helicopter cannot stay in the air for a long time. In case of failure of at least one engine, the fall is inevitable. Therefore, the flight altitude should be limited to 15 meters. Write in the comments which of the flying vehicles you like the most. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Karo Show channel. Also watch our previous videos. Goodbye.